Hi, good day folks. In this video, uh, we can look into HDFS snapshot. Okay, so th uh, this is the description about the snapshot. The snapshot are actually a read-only point-in-time copies of the file system. So we can uh, take snapshot on a file system or a subtree of the file system. Okay, so the main usage is the data backup, protection against the user error and disaster recovery. So one another important point you need to uh, make a note is like now the nested snapshotable directories are not allowed. Say for example, if you enable snapshot at the slash, then the same uh, uh, under slash root or slash opt or slash user that snapshot is not permitted. So th that is the nested snapshot. So uh, these are the some points you need to remember about the snapshot. Again, uh, the first thing you need to do is so you have to enable the snapshot first so this step has to be done with the super user privilege so in hdfs the super user is hdfs user so login or switch to hdfs user and execute this command and so that it enable the snapshot on a particular directory so the first you have to do this then only you would be able to uh, do the snapshot so the uh, allow snapshot is the command used for enabling and disallow snapshot is for disabling snapshot on that particular directory. So once the snapshot is enabled, so we can create the snapshot. So this command, any user who is the owner uh, with this path can do that. So you can use this create snapshot option and the uh, path. So the, the snapshot name is optional. So if you are not providing any name, so it use the default. So that is with uh, some timestamp uh, alphanumeric string. Okay. So the second part is optional, but this is a mandatory field and you can create the snapshot. Again, if you feel like, so you need to delete the snapshot, then you can use this option, delete snapshot and uh, use the path and the snapshot name. So snapshot will uh, reside in a directory. So whatever that's inside the snapshot table uh, location, there will be a folder with dot snapshot. So inside that, the snapshot will be available in different directories. So in case if you want to recover the files or directories from the snapshot, so you can use this option HDFS CP for copying that from source sources my snapshot directory and the destination is wherever I want to copy that. And you can see we are using some uh, flags here. So this is for preserving uh, the timestamp, ownership, permission, ACL, etc. And this is the flag related to this HDFS CP command. So by using this, we can preserve the permission, ownership, and timestamp, etc. of the directory or the files. Okay. So these are the things you need to remember about the. Uh, so now uh, we will uh, look uh, into the lab. So how to implement the snapshot and how to take, uh, take and uh, do the recovery. Okay, you can go to this URL. So I will be pasting this in the description of my video. So you can uh, you at least go through this at least once. And this uh, explains about the snapshot, how to take the snapshot and how to enable it and delete the snapshot, etc. And also taking the backup from the snapshot. Okay, so now we will uh, look in uh, to the uh, lab part. So how to take the backup. Okay. So I'm just going to enable the snapshot of this directory. Suppose if I already enable snapshot of this one, so I won't be able to enable the snapshot for this one. So for this purpose, so first thing I need to do is, so I need to enable the snapshot on this particular directory. So first switch to HDFS user. So HDFS DFS admin. Uh, then I allow snapshot. So if you don't remember the option, just type that HDFS DFS admin, then it will show all the option. Okay. So you can see the options and you can find out that uh, where is that arrow snapshot? Yes, here is the allow snapshot and the directory name is slash user. Yes. So this is the directory which I'm going to enable snapshot. So this command I executed as the super user so in our hdfs uh, so hdfs is a super user and by using that or switching to that user i enable the snapshot then come back to my uh, user id okay 
So now uh, I can and uh, create the snapshot HDFS DFS again if you don't remember that option then type that HDFS DFS then you can see that uh, delete snapshot and create snapshot option right so this is including uh, the options so this is the mandatory field and this is the optional field then use the directory slash user so whatever the enable okay so if I if you enable like uh, some other directory okay just slash user if you use okay so this is the permission denied so if you use some other directories also uh, that won't work why because okay suppose if I do like this so it will say uh, this is not snapshot enabled right okay so what are the directory I, I don't remember the directory name okay so ABC one if I do that it won't work why because so we have enabled this is not a snapshotable and directory but our snapshotable directory is still here right so I can use this option and it will create the snapshot inside uh, this one so this is the snapshot name and you can see this is inside my directory and there is a directory dot snapshot and this is my snapshot directory so if I use HDFS DFS iPhone LS I can see uh, the same contents actually it is not copying the actual data so but only the changes it is capturing so inside that I can see uh, the files like test2 abc dot staging and uh, trash so if I use uh, this one hdfs dfs my directory so whatever the contents or directories and files are the same so test abc1 test2 staging and trash so these are available inside the snapshot so I can take the snapshot multiple times okay so that I, I will have multiple snapshots available so you can schedule uh, this job for so that you will have the backup at uh, each time say for example you have taken the backup at 10 o'clock then 11 o'clock 12 o'clock so you want to change it back to 10 o'clock uh, uh, data then you can uh, recover or you can copy your files from this directory so the next thing what I'm going to do here is so I'm just going to delete uh, this uh, uh, test2 directory or ABC let me check what are the contents inside the directory HDFS DFS LS okay so now I have a file test2.txt so if I uh, use test2 okay and uh, I can I can read the contents so HDFS DFS iPhone cat and see the contents hello world so this is the file and I'm going to delete this directory so HDFS DFS iPhone RM iPhone R iPhone skip trash so I don't want to keep it in the trash also so I'm just deleting that okay so I lost this file right so if I just use HDFS DFS iPhone LS see that ABC one is not there right but I can recover from the snapshot so I go to the snapshot directory so HDFS DFS and type LS command and see what are the uh, snapshots available and to choose the snapshot which one you're okay so maybe I need I'm okay with the latest snapshot then HDFS DFS iPhone LS and see the contents and I need to copy only that ABC uh, directory it's okay so HDFS DFS iPhone CP and if I need to uh, give the reserve the permission ownership etc then I need to I, I wherever I want to copy I, I need to copy the destination is slash user this is the directory and I am copying that okay okay now if I check uh, my directory so HDFS DFS iPhone LS and to see uh, this ABC and uh, HDFS 
dfs hyphen ls and see that so the same file will be available and uh, here you can see the ownership and the uh, uh, group membership is preserved okay uh, so hdfs dfs hyphen cat and the files are there right so the same thing so this way uh, this uh, i can recover my data by using the all the uh, snapshot and again if you want to list what are the uh, snapshots available or what are the snapshot enable directory you can just uh, give that hdfs ls snapshotable directory it will print all the snapshotable directories and its details and uh, okay so and again if i want to delete the snapshot so just i need to uh, use this flag and then what is the directory and uh, what is the snapshot name okay so you have to choose the snapshot name so i am just deleting this snapshot so you can use delete snapshot option so now if i check hdfs dfs ls slash user so my name then dot snapshot so I, now I can see only one snapshot. So I can delete that also by using uh, delete snapshot option. So okay. So you cannot uh, disallow snapshot until and unless. Okay. So now I am. Uh, if I want to uh, disallow snapshot, so I need to delete all the snapshot available in that directory, and uh, uh, then after that go back to HDFS directory then uh, use the command I think uh, we need to use disallow snapshot so this will disable the snapshot on that directory again if I go back to uh, my user and to hdfs ls snapshot table so it's not it will not show anything here right so this is how you can take the snapshot the snapshot is very simple so the point in time copy so in future okay uh, the main thing is if you make some changes say for example i, I will show you here how the snapshot works so this is your hdfs uh, file or directory okay so at 10 o'clock so this is the time at 10 a.m and i have taken the snapshot and the, the exactly the same file i have here right so this is my snapshot so at 10:30 so i made some changes to this file right and uh, okay so i have removed some portion from here or something like that it's look but at 11 o'clock i realized that okay i need the uh, my file back to the stage as it, it looks like uh, 10 am so what i can do is so uh, because i have already edited the same file and made some changes and saved so i can use this snapshot and get uh, replace it by with my in this file so that i will have a latest and up to date i mean uh, not the latest i have the uh, file so that is available at 10 am so this is how you can so you may be wondering if you enable the trash so you can uh, recover but trash you can do only when you delete but if you made some changes to the file then uh, the snapshot will be much uh, helpful so this is about the snapshot and the taking the snapshot by using the command prompt and in the next video uh, we will uh, use the cloudera manager to do the same task without using the command prompt so we will use cloudera manager i hope you like the content and uh, to get more updates so please subscribe to this channel thank you bye